We present the case of a short standing resistant AFib ablation guided by special temporal dissipation of electrograms. As usual, we start the procedure by a careful AF mapping using multi electrode catheter, here a pant array. We start here in the left atrium and tag dissipation areas with white dots. These clusters of white dots correspond into AF driver regions. During this dissipation region mapping, AFib spontaneously change into stable AT. This stable tachycardia corresponded into a peritricuspid flutter that we ablated successfully. Then we reinduced AFib with rapid uh, atrial pacing a proximal CS and we continued the AFib mapping in the left atrium. Then we start the ablation on the anterior wall of the left atrium, here on the septum, using 40 watts, 40 to 45 watts. We try to achieve a good contact, superior to 10 grams. As you can see here, by ablating the dispersion region on the anterior wall, we terminate AFib directly into sinus rhythm. Then we continue to ablate the whole surface of this dispersion region. We reinduce AFib and as you can see here again we terminate AFib another time. We use 40 to 45 watts and 30 grams here because the tissue is very thick. After a new AFib reinduction we continue the ablation procedure. You can see here the circulant increase during ablation of this dispersion area on the posterior wall. We continue the ablation procedure with a lower power, only 25 watts because of the esophagus position. And you can see here a new sinus rhythm vision during ablation. We try to reinduce the ship again and you can see that AFib is not inducible anymore. You can see here the ablated areas on the left atrium. The pink dots correspond to the sinus rhythm conversion spots and almost no ablation was performed on the posterior wall of the left atrium.